guys, tonight we are going to read a story about a very grouchy bug. The Grouchy Ladybug by Eric Carle. It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybug flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. Ladybugs eat aphids. But just then, a grouchy ladybug flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. Good morning, said the friendly ladybug. Go away, shouted the grouchy ladybug. I want those aphids. We can share them, suggested the friendly ladybug. No, they're all mine, all mine, screamed the grouchy ladybug. Or do you want to fight me for them? If you insist, answered the friendly ladybug sweetly. It took the other ladybug straight in the, looked the other ladybug straight in the eye. The grouchy ladybug stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Then why don't you pick on someone bigger? I'll do that, screeched the grouchy ladybug. I'll show you. It huffed off and flew away. At six o'clock, it met a yellow jacket. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Wanna fight? You insist, said the yellow jacket, showing its stinger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. At seven o'clock, it met a stag beetle. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? You insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At eight o'clock, it came upon a praying mantis. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out its front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and flew off. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening in its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. At 10 o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug, want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching its claws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug, and it flew off. At 11 o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug. And it flew off. At 12 noon, it spotted a boa constrictor. Ooh. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, said the snake, right after lunch. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug. And it flew off. At one o'clock, it happened upon a hyena. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist, the hyena laughed eerily, showing its teeth. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug. And it flew off. At two o'clock, it met a gorilla. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? You insist, said the gorilla, beating its chest. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug. And it flew off. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? If you insist said the rhinoceros, lowering its horns. 
Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug. And it flew off. At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? Mm, if you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusk. Oh, you're not big enough, said the grouchy ladybug. And it flew off. At five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey, you, said the grouchy ladybug. Want to fight? But the whale did not answer at all. You're not big enough anyway, said the grouchy ladybug. And it flew off. At 5.15, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's flippers, Hey, want to fight? But it got no answer. And so it flew on. At 5.30, the grouchy ladybug said to the whale's fin, Hey you, want to fight? But it got no answer. So it flew on. At a quarter to six, the grouchy ladybug saw the, said to the whale's tail, Hey you, want to fight? But the whale's tail gave a, the grouchy ladybug such a slap that it flew across the sea and across the land. And at six, the grouchy ladybug arrived right back to where it started from. Oh, ah, here you are again, said the friendly ladybug. You must be hungry. There's still some aphids left. You can have them for dinner. Oh, thank you, said the wet, tired, and hungry ladybug. Soon, all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You're welcome, answered both ladybugs, and they went to sleep. The fireflies, who had been sleeping all day, came out to dance around the moon. Seems that the ladybug didn't need to be so grouchy after all. He still got to share the aphids, and it seems like the whale put him in his place, didn't it? Sometimes we don't need to be so grouchy. We can just be friendly and get the things we need, huh? Have a wonderful night, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.